My memory is uh, playing pony ball uh, when I was 12, going to the World Series in uh, California, Monterey, and um, getting third place and having enjoyment to playing against a lot of great players there. What's the earliest you remember being out on a baseball field? Earliest? Uh, I have pictures when I was like three years old <laughs> and having big ears, and I just grew into them. <laughs> it was an exciting time. You know, you didn't have to worry about getting base hits, and you're just just out there having fun. So it was. Uh, you know, I think it, it, it was it was the best best time of playing baseball. Um, you know, you go out there, play with your friends, and you know, enjoy uh, you know enjoy the enjoy the day at the park. You know, I think it was you know, when I was playing at that age. It was uh, you know it was a long day. It was from seven o'clock in the morning, play your game, and then after it was you know playing with every uh, with every other kid on the in, in the in the in the park, playing you know team two man ball, playing pepper. You know, I mean it was it was it was a whole day event. So it was uh, you know something that you know we'll never forget. And you know it was, it was an exciting time where. You you didn't have to worry about, you know, the outcome of, of scores and all that. You know, you were just out there, you know, just enjoying yourself and, uh, you know, just having fun. Oh, mainly just traveling with my brother and my family. You know, my whole family just going from state to state playing in, you know, double ABC and triple crown tournaments, stuff like that. So it was a lot of fun. When was the first time you remember being out on a baseball field at what age? Probably five years old. I think it was still T-ball back then and uh, probably missing the ball or just hitting a ground ball. And it wasn't really baseball, you know. It was just kind of kids running around on a baseball field. So it was fun. Memories of being a little leaguer. Um, just going out and, and having fun. I mean, uh, it was it was something that me and my dad, my uncle, my cousins, we used to always go to the park, and, and it was just going out and throwing the ball around, hitting batting practice, and going and shagging them because we only had 10 balls, you know. And then uh, just, you know, we had the one, two games a week. It was That was the time to go out and just let it all out and play instead of practice. So um, I think that was just... It, it really showed that there was more than just the game. It was it was it was fun. You had your family. Everybody was playing at your age, and you know, um, just learning. You know, it, it helped you mature into a person more than just a player. It's just the team atmosphere, and it's something that you can use off the field too. How old were you when you first remember putting on a little league uniform at all? Uh, a seven. Seven was a little league because we, we had seven to, uh, really eight to ten, but but my dad jumped me up a little bit early and started playing a little league at seven, and, and uh, it was great. And, you know, I, I, I enjoyed every moment with my dad being the coach and being able to, to be there for every moment. It was really special. Buck, some of your players in their little league uniforms, who do you think they are, this first one? Uh, pretty sure that's Hardy. I've seen that look. Oh, yeah, that's JJ. Yeah. What a good-looking kid. God bless him. <laughs> How about number two? Oh, that's Weeders. Look, look at the legs. Who's the other kid with him? We don't know. We need to know, because he's not much smaller than him. We should have signed him, too. <laughs> Probably Cousin Freddy or something. Sign the whole family. That You're was perfect. We got a picture for you to check out. Who do you think that is? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, skip that, skip that. <laughs> that look like who's that? Trombo? Oh. Mark Trumbo? No. Uh -huh. Jay Yachty? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, <You> man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caleb, we've got a couple of Little League players that are your teammates right now with photos here on the computer. We want to see if you can identify them. So here's number right. one. Ooh, good looking face. Is that JJ Hardy? You are correct, sir. Uh, you got it perfectly. Let's go to number two. That was JJ Hardy. Now, number two. Well, he's got a sister. That's Weeders. That's got to be Weeders. Yeah, that's definitely Weeders. You're amazing. <laughs> two for two without hesitation. <laughs> you know, I I, I just guessed. <laughs> <laughs> Players had a great time talking about themselves as kids. There's no doubt about that. How about your memories, Rick, when you were a little ligger? Well, I have a lot of great memories about my little league days. But first, let's go take a look at another little uh, picture of some minor league, uh, oh. little league guys. <laughs> and see oh. If you recognize anybody in this picture. Who do you think that guy is on the right, Tom Davis? That's what I was pretending. I was Gus Triandos with the shin guards on. Oh, my gosh. What? Okay, what did they draft you out of the Paul Bunyan League up in the Northwest <laughs> and bring you in? You're 
one and a half times bigger than every kid on your little league team. And what are you doing with those shin guards? I was a catcher. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did you catch the ball or just block everything? You totally shocked me with that. I had no idea that one was coming. <laughs> oh, my. I do remember this. The name of the team was Felzer Shoes when I was in a little league. You know, they used to go around to each individual uh, company and, and try to sell off so they could pay for the uniforms and everything like that. And my first year in Little League Baseball, I went 10 for 37, so that was a 270 batting average. Well, <laughs> I remember You, you looked that. like a Mark Trumbo. In that. <laughs> it was amazing. I had a, I had a great minor league, uh, Little League career. We had a lot of great talent in the San Fernando Valley in California. I think we had eight guys that signed off my all-star team in Pony Leagues from that one year up from that. We had a manager that robbed 13 banks. We never knew he was oh part of a, of a famous bank robbing duo called the Mutt and Jeff Bank Robbers of Los Angeles. It was it, We had some exciting times. But the Bat Boy, that show you how good we are, the Bat Boy on our team was Robin Young, a Hall oh of Famer. My. I never got to play on the All-Star team, so he and I would just play catch and do things. I would cry a lot because I wasn't playing. <laughs> that is a great story. <laughs> but we had some great times in, in Little League and Pony League Baseball.